Good afternoon all, myself Anjana TK, Assistant Professor, Department of Computer Science and Engineering, Vedavyasa Institute of Technology. In today's Tech Talk, I would like to share some knowledge about an emerging technology called Internet of Behaviors, IOB. So before going into what is IOB, we'll just have an introduction, like we all use smartphones regularly. In today's world, the number of people who doesn't use smartphones are really less. So in smartphones, there is a special feature like tracking the geographical location, like it exactly find out where we are. So for example, if we are spending some time in coffee shop or bus stand or shopping mall, the exact location has been recorded. Also, the exact duration of time we spend is also recorded. So what is basically happening here is like, uh, we form a behavior about a pattern that is this person spends this much amount of time here and with this all tracking details a behavior pattern of a particular individual is formed that is with an IoT device like smartphone we can track the behavior of a customer so do you know that all these track data is used by different organizations for their welfare for example online taxi services like uber they redefine their customer experiences using this type of data. Figure it out when we avail a taxi soon after we leave the coffee shop is due to sharing of these type of informations from IoT devices to these private online taxi services to redefine the customer service. So we call these types of techniques as Internet of Behavior or IOB. So throughout this session, we'll be just um, looking into what is IOB and what are the uh, business values of IOB and what are the benefits of using IOB. So Internet of Things describes the network of physical objects that are embedded with sensors or software for the purpose of connecting and exchanging uh, data with devices over the Internet. So before going into IOB, it's important to know what is IoT because IOB is an extension of IoT. So for IoT devices, you can take smartphone as an example. So IOB, the number of Internet of Things devices has doubled over the past five years. We all use IoT devices, right? So the collection of usage of data by these IoT devices provides valuable information about users behavior, interest and preferences because all our data are being tracked and thus the concept of internet of behavior was born. So IOB can be called as like it's a collection of huge set of data to drive the behavior. So IOB is an extension of IoT that you can uh, see in the figure the pyramid given in the slide like the lower two levels shows information and data that will be coming completely under information of things like IoT devices collects information and data and the upper two levels shows knowledge and wisdom that is the information and data collected through IoT devices are fed to IO in IOB that is Internet of Behavior to form knowledge and wisdom about that particular person. So IOB is like the data we produce, I mean we procure from IoT devices are given a human behavior psychology and gaining the pattern of customer and then forming a marketing strategy is called IOB that is a person's lifestyle details are collected and is used to form a pattern or behavior pattern of customer so that it can be used for further marketing strategies. So this is what is IOB. So you can see an uh, example of IOB that is being used in China like there is a famous credit score system in China. So it recognizes our face and determines the good and bad deeds done by an individual. And this finally determines a score for that particular individual, which is used later for availing government facility or benefits for that particular individual. So it is based on a 
uh, the behavior patterns or what all things that person has done and based on that a score is given to that person and based on that score the government gives the benefits or if uh, or punishments what for what good deeds and bad deeds he has done so this is an example of or use case of iob so according to gartner a global research firm by 2023 40 percentage of world population will be subjected to iob or 40 percentage of people's information will be tracked or it will be recorded and by 2025 it shows an increase of 10 percentage that is 50 percentage of world population will be subjected to iob so you can completely say that iob is going to be the key for sales and marketing and how it is going to be the key for sales and marketing so that will be coming under the benefits of iob in business so we have four benefits like market products more effectively to customers improve the user customer experience access to consumer lifestyle information and improving seo so we just look into these four benefits in detail like market the products more effectively to customers with the introduction of iob iot creates a lot of data and information about a customer these data and information are passed to a psychological framework and make it into a wisdom or knowledge so information about all the platform that a particular customer interact with is gained and receive a detailed information about that particular customer so for example as i mentioned how the uber the online taxi service or uber redefined the customer experience can be taken into account here now the second benefit is it improves the user customer experience so when a uh, wide information about a customer is received an organization also gets information about how that particular customer think about that product like the organization gets information about how a product should be so they can manufacture the product by satisfying the customer concerns and deliver a product that really a customer thought of so here the customer experience is improved and next one is access to consumer lifestyle information yes of course we all wear iot devices we all have iot devices so our lifestyle informations are uh, recorded and tracked for example on a trial basis we are building a coffee machine when we press the button based on our facial recognition all the data about the customer is taken and will build a pattern about the customer including the gender age lifestyle disorders and then produce a coffee accordingly suppose uh, uh, an aged woman is going in front of that coffee machine she might be uh, suffering from a uh, diabetic or anything like that then that sort of copy coffee will be produced for that particular old lady so this is access to consumer lifestyle information and the last one is improving seo so seo is search engine optimization that is when we search something in google we receive an optimized result so with the uh, iob like sxo search experience optimization an improved version of seo is introduced we now started conversing directly with many devices rather than typing for example we have alexa siri etc so our natural language is being able to understand by the system so the system understand your intent more than just typing the letters and making it understand so that is what is like improving seo so that was the four benefits of iob and of course this is an emerging technology and it has its own limitations and one of the main risk element is its privacy so what all we do is being tracked and is being recorded and is used by private organization like uh, for example the social credit score system in china that is being used is like many people are against it like because their privacy is under threat so it's always good that using our data uh, when it helps the organizations who deliver the product uh, to improve our experience is well and good but what all private data can be used and can be shared should be managed properly so parallelly a law enforcement should also be enabled with this emerging technology so 
that's it thank you